Hello. Welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today we are going to be, or I am going to be reading you some useless information, interesting facts, strange things that you'll never need to know. So we have our book. Um, I think this has been like the greatest investment. I mean, my husband got it for me for my birthday last year, and we've only gotten halfway through. Like, what a great deal, right? Um, and he got it at five below. At least I think he did. So, five bucks. Pretty cool, I think. Okay. What are we gonna read about this time? I don't know. Alright, it says, Each king in a deck of playing cards represents a great king from history. What? Spades is King David. Clubs is Alexander the Great. Hearts is Charlemagne. And Diamonds is Julius Caesar. Now I'm gonna have to go get some cards and look at them. Like, what? That's crazy. Each of the suits in a deck of cards represent the four major pillars of the community of the economy in the Middle Ages. Hearts represented the church. Spades represented the military. Clubs represented agriculture. And diamonds represented the merchant class. Very interesting. For a deck of cards to be mixed up enough to play with properly, it should be shuffled at least seven times. Now that is good to know. Playing cards became... If you hear noise, it's Ava. Playing cards became the first paper currency of Canada in 18... No, in 1685, when the French governor used them to pay off some war debts. Playing cards was used as money to pay off war debts. What? I need more information on that. Playing cards in India are round. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if that's actually true. The Nine of Hearts playing card is considered the symbol of love. Why the Nine of Hearts? Why not the ten of hearts? Or the five of hearts? Why is it nine? I don't know. Okay, um, the ridge, the ridge on the sides of coins are called reading or milling. A dime has 118 ridges around the edge. A quarter has 119. Okay. How valuable is the penny? How valuable is the penny you found lying on the ground? If it, if it takes just a second to pick it up, a person could make $36 per hour just picking up pennies. Huh. Okay. On the new U.S. $100 bill, the time on the clock tower of Independence Hall is 4.10. Okay. The Australian $5, $10, $20, $50, and $100 notes are made of plastic. What? That's cool. I guess they would tear less, right? Okay. I know I have subscribers in Australia. So, is this plastic money? Is it, like, does it feel like plastic? Is it, like, super smooth? You know what I mean? Okay. The face of a penny can hold 30 drops of water? What? Okay. The first coins issued by authority of the United States government were minted in 1787. These pennies were inscribed with the plain spoken motto, Mind your own business. <laughs> what? <laughs> the 
original 50 cent piece in Australian decimal currency had around $100 worth of silver in it before it was replaced with a less expensive 12-sided coin. What? 50 cent piece was worth a hundred dollars in silver? What? <sighs> okay. At the height of inflation in Germany in the early 1920s, approximately two dollars were equal to a quintillion German marks. I don't know what that is, but okay. More people use blue toothbrushes than red ones. I usually, I think I have like a purple one. I think it's purple. I'm not sure if I've ever used a red or a blue toothbrush. Hmm. Oral B is a combination of oral hygiene and the letter B which stands for the word better, so better oral hygiene, or oral, oral hygiene for the better. Cool. Some toothpaste contains antifreeze. Isn't antifreeze like poison? What toothpaste? Mm. Okay. Uh, dentists recommend that a toothbrush be kept six feet away from the toilet to avoid airborne particles resulting from the flush. Yeah. Thank goodness my toilet is in an enclosed separate room. Ugh, gross. Americans spend $1.5 billion each year on toothpaste. I mean, you gotta have toothpaste. Okay. Um, 4,000 people are injured by teapots every year. I guess burning your hands or your wrist or something on them. Yeah, you can see that. Every year, more than 8,800 people injure themselves in some way with a toothpick. Yep, I can see that happening as well. On average, 100 people choke on ballpoint pins every year. How? What? <laughs> My gosh, okay. 40,000 Americans are injured by toilets every year. How are you injured by a toilet? What? How does that work? I don't understand. Each year, there are about 15,000 vacuum cleaner related accidents in the United States. Vacuum cleaner accidents? See what I mean? I need more information on a lot of this stuff. Okay, a flush toilet exists today that dates back to 2000 BCE. Is that in a museum or something? And does it still work? Questions. About a third of people flush while they are still sitting on the toilet. No thank you. Mm, okay. Uh, Alaska has more outhouses than any other state. Why? Uh, in 1825, the first toilet was installed in the White House. Okay. Most toilets flush in E-flat. What a weird, random piece of useless information. What? <laughs> Poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was the first American to have plumbing installed in his house in 1840. Well, that's not true. This is lies. 
because the first toilet was installed in the White House in 1924. But this is, oh, plumbing. Maybe like running water, that kind of thing. Huh. Okay. The first toilet ever seen on television was on Leave It to Beaver. The Soviet Sukhoi 34 is the first strike fighter with a toilet in it. I guess that's like an airplane or something. Know. Toilets in Australia flush counterclockwise. Is that true? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Bill Bowerman, founder of Nike, got his first shoe idea after starting, after staring at a waffle iron. He got the idea of using squared spikes to make shoes lighter. Hmm. Thanks, waffles. I don't know. The plastic things on the end of shoelaces are called aglets. If you lace your shoes from the inside to the outside, the fit will be snugger around your big toe. Does your big toe need to be more snug? I don't know. Jeans were named after Genoa, Italy, where the first denim cloth was made. Whoever made that denim cloth, thank you. Like, jeans are the greatest. I love jeans. The YKK on the zipper of your jeans stands for Yoshida I can't, I'm not saying it, I'm not saying all that, that's, that's a lot, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a lot, uh, the world's largest zipper manufacturer, now I have to go look at my jeans and see if there's a YKK on them, because I didn't even know that was there, neckties were first worn in Croatia, that's why they were called Provets. Okay. Most people button their shirts upward. How do I button? I think I do it down. I haven't worn a button up shirt in a long time, but I'm pretty sure I start from top down, not down up. That's weird. The armhole in clothing is called an arm save. Okay. On average, there are 62 Lego bricks in every, for every person on Earth. I believe that. Legos. My gosh. I probably have a couple thousand in the house. Um, 94% of all households in Belgium with children under the age of 14 years old own Lego products. I would say 94% of all households in the world. Like, my gosh, with children under the age of 14, definitely. Barbie's full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Come on, I knew that. I love Barbie. There are more Barbie dolls in Italy than there are Canadians in Canada. I guess Barbie is really popular in Italy. Slinkies were invented by an airplane mechanic. He was playing with engine parts and realized the possible secondary use for one of the springs. Interesting. This slinky is sold on every continent of the world except Antarctica. I mean, I would think so. Does Antarctica have any stores or shops? No. Um, if you took a standard slinky and stretched it out, it would measure 87 feet. Wow. In 1946, the first TV toy commercial aired. It was for Mr. Potato Head. I love Mr. Potato Head. 
I made sure that my kids had Mr. Potato Head. I know I had Mr. Potato Head when I was a kid. Um, but I got it for them because they, they loved Toy Story, so... I got them pretty much all the toys from Toy Story. Uh, it takes an average of 48 to 100 tries to solve a Rubik's Cube puzzle. If done perfectly, any Rubik's Cube combination can be solved in 17 turns? 17? What? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up and then try it. Because I have a, a Rubik's Cube while my daughter does. And I would definitely like to try that out because I would like to see it solved. Because it's not a normal Rubik's Cube. A hula hoop was the biggest selling toy in 1957. My daughter loves hula hoops. The yo-yo originated in the Philippines where it where it is used as a weapon for hunting. What? <laughs> okay. I wouldn't be hunting anything very well. I cannot do a yo-yo for the life of me. Uh, the the hundred billionth crayon made by Crayola was periwinkle blue. I love that color. Thank you, Crayola. It's like one of my favorite ones in the whole box. Um, in the 1985 Boise, Idaho mayoral election, there were four write-in votes for Mr. Potato Head. Uh, that would be funny. Uh, it says, camera, camera shutter speed B stands for bulb. I guess if you know about cameras. I don't know anything about cameras. Okay, mosquito repellents do not repel, they hide you. The spray blocks the mosquitoes' sensors so they do not know you are there. <gasps> what? We're invisible. If we spray mosquito repellent on? Awesome. <laughs> Scotch guard is a combination of the words scotch meaning Scotman, Scotsman, and a misspelling of guard, meaning to protect. S Scotsman protection? Like, okay. Um, the holes in fly swatters are used to lower air resistance. Scotch tape has been used as an anti-coercive shield on the Goodyear blimp? What? Okay. The side of a hammer is called its cheek. The end of a hammer opposite the striking end is called a peen. Okay. <laughs> Ivory bar soap floating. Ivory bar soap floating was the result of a mistake. The manufacturers had been mixing the soap formula and caused excess air bubbles that made it float. Customers wrote and told them how much they loved that it floated, and it has floated ever since. The average person looks at eight houses before buying one. Yeah, I can see that. The average lead pencil can draw a line 35 miles long or write approximately 50,000 English words. The average woman consumes six pounds of lipstick in her lifetime. Not me. I don't really wear lipstick. We'll read a little bit more. Okay. Ketchup is excellent for cleaning brass, especially tarnished or corroded brass. Okay. Kleenex tissues were originally used as filters in gas masks. Okay. 
Mixing Sandy Flush and Comet Cleaners. Hold on. Sorry. I like all of a sudden had to cough out of nowhere. Mixing Sandy Flush and Comet Cleaners have been known to cause explosives. Explosions. What is Sandy Flush? I don't know what Sandy Flush is. But golly, why would you mix them? Okay. Each of us generates five pounds of garbage a day. Most of it is in paper. I don't think so. Like, no. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I don't have that much garbage during the day. Sometimes I don't have any, like, lies. It takes a plastic container 50,000 years to start decomposing. 50,000 years? What? I didn't know it was that long. I thought it was like 100 or 200, but this is 50,000 years. What? According to a market research survey, 68% of consumers who receive junk mail actually open the envelopes. Yeah, I open the envelopes, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know why, I just do. I guess because I like opening mail. I don't know. <laughs> um, the diameter of the wire in a standard paper clip is one millimeter, or about 0 0.04 inches. Aluminum is strong enough to support 90,000 pounds per square inch. Yeah, but like, I think it, I don't know about that. Because like, what if you have really thin aluminum? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know about that. Okay, um, rubber bands last longer when refrigerated. I've never had a rubber band not last, you know what I mean? Like, maybe if you pulled it too far, it would snap, but like, I've never had a rubber band that like, this rubber band, it's, it's wearing out. Like, what? <laughs> okay, some Eskimos have been known to use refrigerators to keep their food from freezing. Wow. Okay. Uh, a good quality Persian rug, which contains one million knots in every three square inches, what, can last as long as 500 years? Well, I would hope so, because my gosh, a million knots in three square inches, like, Oh, I, I don't even know how much that would cost, but I'm sure they are majorly expensive. A typical double mattress contains as many as two million housed dust mites. Mm. I don't want to know about stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to pause it because it's starting a new chapter, and I think... I don't want to get into something else. <laughs> so, yeah. And this video is long enough. You're fine. <laughs> anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.